The man who opened fire inside Dixon High School will spend the next few decades in prison. Matthew Milby was punished today for the attack four years ago. Milby was 19 when he started shooting outside graduation practice at the school. He shot at school resource officer Mark Dallas. Officer Dallas returned fire and hit Milby. A judge ruled Milby not fit for trial in both 2018 and 2019. Milby pled guilty earlier this year to aggravated discharge of a firearm toward a police officer and aggravated discharge of a firearm in a school. At today's sentencing hearing, he apologized for his actions. My actions on May 16, 2018 were wrong. And I'm here to take responsibility for what I did. I understand how many my actions have impacted Officer Dallas, Mr. McKay, my classmates, and their parents and the community. Milby was sentenced to 30 years for shooting at Officer Dallas and 30 years for shooting at teacher Andrew McKay. The Lee County State's Attorney says uh, prosecutors wanted a longer sentence but still feel justice has been served. Our Nikel Delgado was there for the sentencing. And Nikel, how were the reactions? Eric Mimi, May 16, 2018, left a mark on the community. While it's been four, four years since the shootings, many say that they still feel like it was yesterday. Writing about my feelings and being here today has been very tough. I think about the shooting a lot, like when it's quiet, when people say triggering words. Randall and McKay took the stand before the sentencing, sharing she continues to go to therapy. She was just six years old when she found out someone shot at her dad, Dixon School teacher Andrew McKay. McKay and school resource officer Mark Dallas ran after Matthew Milby after he fired shots just feet away from where Dallas was at. Um, the previous day, I was in my office two or three times in a row with uh, other situations going on in school. I'm glad I didn't have that that day because I wouldn't have been down there. I'd have been 200 yards away. Former athletic director Jarrett Shainer also thinks of the what ifs that day. What could have been different if things would have been 10 seconds earlier or 10 seconds later? <clears throat> These feelings, thoughts, and emotions certainly consumed me on that day and the days that followed. Although they may not be as intense as they were on May 16th, they are still with me. While Milby's family asked for lenience, they spoke of his home life while he was growing up, saying he was abused by his mother for years. When me and my brother moved out, that's when it went downhill. I think it's because there was nobody for my mom to mentally abuse and physically abuse other than focus all her energy on him. His aunt told the judge they tried to help, but they couldn't get Milby out of the abusive environment. We would hide him in the closet. It was very hard to feel like I could do nothing other than not open the door. Everyone agreeing their lives will never be the same. My selfish side comes from me being angry and hurt because of what he did to my dad. And I want him to suffer because of it. But my Christian side thinks <clears throat> that if he had better parents or a better home, he would not be where he is to today. While Milby was sentenced to his total of 60 years on both counts, they will be served at the same time, and he will only has to serve 85%, meaning he'll spend about 25 years in prison. Mimi? All right, thanks, Nikel. Here at Eyewitness News, we're committed to supporting survivors of sexual and domestic violence. There is help out there for anyone who needs it. You can find a list of resources on our website. Just click on the Stateline Strong tab.